What's good, the internet? I'm back. Soon then you thought, right? I'm going to talk about Call of Duty, Advanced Warfare. First of all, I want to talk about what it means in the video game world to support a franchise that is actually killing the video game industry. Yeah, I said it. Killing the video game industry. We used to have entire genres that are now gone. Not studios, genres. First person shooters and sports games. They dominate the market share of the video game industry. They say the video game industry is worth, what, 100, uh, almost close to about 100 billion? Who controls that market share? Sports games and first person shooter games. Basically, Call of Duty, Madden, NBA, FIFA, all those type of games. Those are the type of games that dominate the market share. So they're taking all the money. You've got other companies like, I don't know, Konami, like Capcom, other studios, they, they're not taking the money, they're not taking the big share of the money, they're taking enough to break even, and because the video game industry is so lucrative, they're going to make hundreds of millions, like, I don't know, Call of Duty is making for nothing, because yeah, at first, maybe Call of Duty, they did spend hundreds of millions on assets and artists in their studios to make these games but they don't do that anymore because the games does not require them to make assets because the assets are already in place all they do is rehash and reuse something that is already there they have the system and the game engine on their servers all they need to do is redesign it rehash it and turn it out who's making this game it's sledgehammer games yet another call of duty game off the conveyor belt it's okay to rehash the same game again and again and again. Give me a game that has got a game that's got 300 weapons out of 300 weapons. They're basically all the same. The versatility and diversity in those weapons are non-existent. There's no game system there. There's no resistance in getting from A to Z. You just go through watching. It's it's, it's a meme that's been created. Passive entertainment. Where a game becomes an interactive movie. You just go from A to Z. There's no crunchiness. There's no resistance. There's no adapting. There's no enjoyment. There's no love and passion. There's no sense of accomplishment. It's just, oh, I've got from A to Z. Oh, wow. That building just came crashing over. It's like you're running through a city and you're being chased by a falling down building. Wow, that's so amazing. That's so amazing. That's basically what triple A titles are now. Game like Call of Duty, they will spend millions on advertising, not game development, advertising, because that's where the meat of the money goes. Because they have artists create the assets, redesign them, and then they spend everything on promotions, and then they make more money out of their season passes. Is this the video game industry that you want? Back in the day, you used to have games like, I don't know, like Earthworm Jim. Like Zyvaria, like Bunjin Guy, like Chaos Legion, absolute magical gems. Now they're all gone. And not even just individual games, genres are gone. And the sad thing is, the gaming audience doesn't even know that it's gone, that those genres are gone. In Japan, PS4 isn't selling. They're, they're, they're happy, they're making mobile gaming now. Mobile gaming is big out there. Because there's no money, there's no real money in video gaming. There isn't. Not outside of America. And if it's not a first person shooter, if it's not a first person shooter game or a sports game, it's not going to make money, right? If it's not a football game, a basketball game, an NFL game, it's not going to make money, right? That's basically what it is. I mean, you do have games outside of that, like um, Grand Theft, Grand Theft Auto. That sold like, I don't know how much. It's like one of the biggest selling games of all time now. Does that make it the best game of all time? No, it doesn't. A lot of people that bought that game, Grand Theft Auto, do you still have that game? Do you even still have that game? Do you have, when was the last time you played it? Because it's not about development. It's not about learning. It's not about adapting. It's a good game. It's a fun game. But there's nothing there. These days, like Call of Duty and those games, they're pop culture. It's not about what the game is in terms of the playability. It's what the game stands for in pop culture. All the money is spent on advertising. 
It's not about enjoying the actual game, and that's what the sad thing about gaming is. That's why I say, but it's not the gaming audience's fault. The gaming audience doesn't even know what a video game is meant to be, and I know that sounds really, really stupid, but they don't. That is why when the gaming audience complains about something, it sounds like useless chatter. But it's not useless chatter, it's just the fact that the gaming audience has become lost. They don't know what a real game is supposed to be because all they do, a game like Call of Duty, is they spend hundreds of millions on the campaign creating set pieces. Set piece after set piece after set piece. That's all it is basically, because nobody cares about the campaign. Nobody. It's pop culture. They use it as a means to promote the game. That's why Titanfall had so much problems promoting the game, because the game didn't have a campaign. So there was nothing to sell in advertising, in the advertisements. They couldn't sell a, a building exploding or an entire town getting blown up. Or running through a city and jumping into an ocean and getting in some futuristic submarine. They couldn't spend money on that. That's why advertising for Titanfall was tricky. They had to depend solely on people looking at the game, saying the game is good. And word of mouth, basically. That's basically what it was. That's why in this Call of Duty, they, what, they got Kevin Spacey as a dictator. I'm not even going to talk about it. I don't, I don't even care. I don't even care. This is propaganda. This is feeding the machine to say it's okay to rehash the same old nonsense again and again and again. Whatever happened to a game designer sitting down with a pen and paper and writing down the system of a game? Whatever happened to that? Game developers, people that make the video games, don't even understand this concept. They don't even know it exists. They just create assets, create a story, be a third party studio, make this game, use these assets and these ideas and make a game out of it. That's basically what it is. It's laziness. All these trailers you see is propaganda to perpetuate a lazy video game industry. The other day I read the, um, on a forum a reviewer that said it is not necessary to review a get to play a game all the way through in order to review it. What can you say to that? And another forum, a developer said story is the most important thing in a video game to him. If the story is not good, he's not interested. So whatever happened to a game system, to game mechanics, to having crunchiness and meatiness in a game. It's all about getting from A to Z, right? With no resistance, just having incredible set pieces, that's it. It's not about getting from A to J. And having getting from A to B is tough and enjoyable and you learn and you adapt. It's, oh no, 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 it's not about that anymore. It's not about getting from B to C and enjoying and adapting and learning and seeing innovation and creativity. No, that's all gone, isn't it? It's all about just the story and set pieces. This is the thing that's wrong with the industry today, you know, unless we make a stand and say it's not okay to churn out the same old nonsense, nothing's ever going to change. Nothing. So, yeah, that's all I wanted to say about Call of Duty, whatever, Advanced Warfare, Warfighter. So, for industry that makes millions, I believe... Call of Duty and FIFA and first person shooters and sports games, they're still not the marketplace. So if they say that the video game industry is growing, I think it's shrinking. Entire studios are closing down all the time. Yet other companies like Activision, like EA, they're thriving of sports games and first person shooter games. Yet everyone else that tries to make action adventure games and driving games and all these type of games, they're dying and shutting down. I would love to hear your views on this. Sorry about that. This may not look like it. In real time, this is 56 minutes. In internet time, this is one second ago after that. Sorry. I got electrocuted. Long story. I want to say thank you for watching. And I would like to have a proper conversation with you guys. You know, I know there's a lot of interesting and fascinating facts that even I don't know that you can give me. I would love to hear it. 
Let's hear each other's discussions, opinions and information and we can build a better picture because I know like me, you want to help the video game universe become a better place to play video games in. Don't you want to play a video game where it takes you years to discover everything the game has got? Look at Street Fighter. When you play a game like Street Fighter, the game been out five years. People are discovering new things about the game all the time. You play a game like Devil May Cry. You can play that game. I played that game for four years and I was discovering things every single... every few weeks I was discovering something new. A game like Marvel vs Capcom 3. As broken as that game is, people are finding new things about the game every single day. Don't you want that for all games? Where you play it and the game is so thick, so crunchy, so in depth that every time you feel you hit the ceiling of the game and you just keep on going and going, the game will unveil a new layer of depth will just make you just feel like, oh my god, this game is too much. Don't you want a game like that? That's not going to happen. While games like Call of Duty are sucking the life out of the video game industry. And that's what they're doing, man. Sorry if it looks like I'm firing shots at Call of Duty, but it is what it is. Because Ultimate Warrior died, that was my favourite wrestler of all time, man. My favourite wrestler. I want to start using his term, Warriors. In my opinion, it's been phrased more in pop culture because of my opinion one of the top five best Marvel vs Capcom 3 players in the world best Marvel vs Capcom 2 player IFC Yipes he addresses his fan base as warriors as far as I'm concerned that ultimate warriors died him using that term has taken on new meaning a show of respect to those that to communicate uh, a form of endearment to everybody that watches. It's a, it's a, it's a two-way form of communication with those that you don't know, but you know enjoys your same passion. So I want to call the internet warriors because you are warriors. Let's go warriors in the name, in the words of Ultimate Warrior and IFC Yipes, warriors. I would love to see your comments. If I'm allowed to say that down there, I look forward to reading your your comments and hear what you got to say. Okay people, take care and have fun. Don't eat too much, just smile.